A very good morning students. In the last class we have made a small synopsis on solids here. Uh, in the aesthetics class we have discussed here. Today I am going to start with the, some multiple choice questions where we are going to study with the concept based question first then followed by the numericals here. Now in this first question which of the following is an amorphous solid? It is based on the name of the amorphous solid. Uh, the options given graphite, quartz glass, chrome alum and silicon carbide here. As we know graphite is a covalent crystal, glass, glass is an amorphous solid here. So therefore this will be an answer for this one. Chrome alum, alum means it is a metallic solid or it is an uh, this alloy here. Uh, silicon carbide is once again a covalent crystal here. Usually quartz glass comes under this example here. Amorphous solid is quartz glass here. Second question, which one of the following is a good conductor of electricity? Good conductor of electricity here. Yeah? Among this one, if I take uh, diamond, diamond is not a good conductor of electricity because in diamond, each carbon atom is sp4 here. Uh, this one uh, sp3, uh, sp3 carbon atoms here. Whereas in graphite, the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so they make three bonds each carbon atom makes three bonds here whereas here each in diamond each carbon atom is linked with four bonds here so that is uh, why uh, because of the presence of one electron it shows conductivity here whereas silicon it is not a conductor it shows conductivity on doping or on uh, this uh, increasing temperature here this is a semiconductor silicon is a semiconductor and amorphous carbon amorphous carbon as we know that they are purely insulator so among this one so graphite even though being an inorganic uh, this uh, covalent crystal it shows conductivity due to sp2 hybridized carbon as usually it forms three bonds but valency of carbon is four uh, among four three are involved in bonding one is available for conductivity of the electrons here next uh, third one a crystalline solid a crystalline solid changes abruptly from solid to liquid when heated has no definite melting point undergoes deformation of its geometry easily has an irregular three-dimensional arrangement so which one is correct here so crystalline solid uh, the, the last option if i take it as an irregular three dimension which is the wrong because in crystalline solids always there is a regular arrangement of constituent particles uh, undergoes deformation of its geometry easily uh, and has no definite melting point usually crystalline solids has a sharp melting point and uh, uh, this one changes abruptly from solid to liquid when heated here so they changes from solid to liquid abruptly when heated here undergoes deformation of its geometry easily is also not uh, uh, the answer here so therefore changes abruptly from solid to liquid when heated here in this way we can explain for crystalline solids here which of the following conditions favors existence of which of the following conditions favors existence of a substance in the solid state here which will favor which condition favors the existence in solid state high temperature low temperature high thermal energy weak cohesive forces here usually high temperature on heating the solid get converted into liquid low temperature is the possible condition where it uh, exists in solid state here so therefore b is the correct answer for this one high thermal energy thermal energy means heat energy when i heat it they get melted they change into that state weak cohesive forces means if the fo force of interaction intermolecular interaction becomes weak weak it is a characteristic property of liquids or gases here whereas in solids always there is a strong cohesive forces therefore which condition low temperature is the condition where it existence makes the solid to exist in a solid state here now fifth one fifth question if i come out here diamond is an example of solid with hydrogen bonding electrovalent solid covalent solid or glass diamond is what here solid with hydrogen bonding it is not a molecular solid because it is made up of carbon uh, it is not an hydrogen bonded wrong option it is an electrovalent solid electrovalent means ionic it is not also ionic here it is a covalent solid here diamond is a covalent solid we can say it here covalent crystal and uh, glass is also an amorphous solid therefore it doesn't come here diamond is a covalent solid is an correct answer for this one here 
all these one are the concept based questions here so these uh, you will find easy here some of the questions will be confusion here the solid NaCl is a bad conductor of electricity so this is coming under the properties of crystalline solids here so NaCl uh, in, there is one table which explains about the types of crystalline solids and their properties this is the concern regarding to that table here NaCl is a solid NaCl is a bad conductor of electricity usually in solid state in order to conduct we need a presence of free electrons free electrons are necessary in case of solid state here so if there is a availability of free electrons for example metal metal theory free electrons it shows conductivity in solid state but for bad conductor means it doesn't have free electron and free electron early landre other conductivity torso the lahanga get the bad conductor after all solid nacl is a bad conductor of electricity why in solid nacl there are no ions no ions and then re ions so uh, in aqueous or molten state we need ions here but in solid state free electrons solid nacl is covalent it is also not the correct answer in solid nacl there is no velocity of ions it is not also there in solid nacl there is no electrons is the correct answer there is no availability of free electrons as why it acts as an insulator but the same nacl in aqueous or molten state it exhibits its conductivity why because availability of free ions in aqueous andre idu neerige hakid takshana it becomes na plus cl minus because of free ions it exhibits but in solid state it doesn't have any free electrons therefore it is a bad conductor so therefore fourth answer fourth option suits for this question here now the last question question number uh, seven here which of the following is not a characteristic of a crystalline solid uh, characteristic not a characteristic here definite and characteristic heat of fusion usually crystalline solids have definite and characteristics of heat of fusion means melting point it has a definite melting point they have de particularly definite melting point here now if i go with the second one uh, isotropic nature here usually crystalline solids are anisotropic but he mentioned isotropic therefore this is not a property of crystalline solid now i'll go for this uh, third option c a regular periodical repeated pattern of arrangement of constituent particles in the entire crystal which is the characteristic property of crystalline solid there is a regular periodically repeated pattern of arrangement of constituent particles in the entire crystal entire crystal do a repeated pattern here today unit cell repeated and crystalline solids are a true solid which are all correct here only uh, crystalline solids are anisotropic but he is mentioned here isotropic therefore it is not a property of a characteristic property of crystalline solid here now go for the question number eight the existence of a substance in more than one solid modification what more than one solid modification is known or any compound having more than two crystal structures is called so one day solid do more than one crystal structure or more than two crystal structures usually it is called as a polymorphism the answer for this one is polymorphism existence of a substance existence of a substance uh, in two different crystal structure is known as polymorphism isomorphism andre yenu ante next bartada isomorphism idu mathematical term idu idu nimga first ig polymorphism antandre yenu polymorphism andre example nimge heng kodabodu andre iga a person for a person obba person um, uh, he may act as a father he is uh, for uh, his kid his father for his wife he is a uh, uh, husband and uh, for his mother he is a son here he the same person is giving different forms here so he is acting as a father he is acting as a, a husband as well as he is acting as a son here therefore this is a particular nature for uh, more than two forms here it is called as polymorphism in on the example biological term the polymorphism is the biological term where it comes out means mainly uh, the blood blood the group the groups are 0 a plus so b plus so a same existing in different forms here so that is called as polymorphism is a biological term so adikke idu correct aagtada isomorphism andre eno isomorphism idu mathematical term idu so this comes under mathematical term what is isomorphism andre same structure irtada so equal shape here yad equal shape irtadala shape irtadala adakka two or more compounds having same identical shape they are called as isomorphism 
ಆಲೋಟ್ರೋಪಿ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆಲೋಟ್ರೋಪಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಇದು ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇದು ಗ್ರಾಫೈಟ್ ಆ